So here's something really cool. With just two source images, we can build an entire animated story and generate multiple scenes that stay visually consistent. Let me show you how it works. Starting with this image of the man, I gave a simple prompt. Add a hat, a briefcase, and a train. The result? A beautiful detailed image that still looks true to the original character. Now, using just this one source image of the girl, I asked the AI to place her sitting on a bench in a train station. And just like that, we get a clean, consistent scene. She looks exactly like the original. Same hairstyle, same outfit, same overall vibe. Next, I asked the AI to place both the man and the girl, who's meant to be his daughter, together in a train station. And again, the consistency is amazing. Each character retains their original features and style, making the scene feel cohesive and natural. From there, I can stitch all of these images together into a flowing animated sequence, telling a story that feels emotionally rich and visually seamless. It's a powerful way to create narrative-driven animation with very minimal input, just a few strong character designs and some carefully crafted prompts. I've missed you so much. Guys, the first step is to head over to Google and search for Google AI Studio. Next, come over here. As you can see, we have the option to try Nano Banana. Fortunately for us, Nano Banana is currently available on Google AI Studio. Let's start creating images and 3D animation videos right here using Google AI Studio. The first step is to click on Try Nano Banana, then hit the plus sign to start a new project. Now, we're going to upload images of Messi and Ronaldo. I'll be using these two images to give you an example of what Nano AI is capable of. I'm going to select them both and click Open. For this tutorial, we're going to create a promotional poster, specifically an advertisement poster for their upcoming match on November 6th. What we're going to do next is cancel the default prompt and make sure only generate text is enabled. Now paste in this custom prompt. Generate a sports style football poster with the theme Battle of the Goat. The player names are Messi and Ronaldo. The event is taking place this winter on November 6th. Click on Run. Guys, look at that. Google AI Studio has finished generating the image. Let's click on it. Wow, isn't this image looking great? As you can see, we have the pictures of Messi and Ronaldo, crisp and well-designed. When we scroll down, you'll see the text November 6th this winter. And up top, we've got the bold headline, Battle of the Goat, Messi versus Ronaldo. With Nano Banana, you can create stunning flyers and advertisement posters in seconds. Now let me show you how to edit photos using Nano Banana. I went on Google and downloaded a black and white family image. I want to colorize this image using Nano Banana. So I'm going to upload the image, then give Nano Banana a simple prompt. Once it's uploaded, here's the result. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Nano Banana colorized the image with amazing detail. It transformed the original photo into a vibrant full color version and it looks really good. Next, let me show you how to create 3D style animation ready images using Nano Banana. Upload this 3D character image. I actually got this one from ChatGPT. Now I'm going to give Nano Banana this prompt. Add a hat and a briefcase with a train in the background. Check this out. Nano Banana generated everything perfectly. The image is consistent and stylized just the way we need it for animation. Now let's generate his daughter. Upload this specific image into Nano Banana. Then give this prompt. Change her sweater to a white winter jacket and place her by a mountain landscape. As you can see, Nano Banana just generated a beautiful result. Now the image reflects a clear winter environment and the character design remains consistent. Next, upload the two images, the girl in her winter jacket and the man. Now we'll prompt Nano Banana with this. 
side profile shot of a young girl sitting on a bench and an old man reaching his hands toward her in a train station. And here's the result. One thing I love about Nano Banana is how it keeps characters consistent across every generation, which is exactly what we need for our animated videos. Once you're done generating your images, make sure to download them, because now we're heading over to Veo3 to animate these into a 3D video. To animate the image, head over to Veo3. We're uploading the first image, the man with the briefcase tipping his hat with a train behind him. Here's the prompt I gave to Veo3. The man smiles and takes off his hat as the train passes by. The camera slowly dollies in. After clicking generate, here's the video Veil 3 gave us. Let's play it. Wow, this looks really nice. This is how to animate your AI image. Scrolling up, we've got the second image. The girl in the white jacket standing in a snowy environment. I gave Veil 3 this prompt. Create a side camera movement as she presses her phone with a sad expression on her face. Let's send that to Veo3 and see the animation. Wow, this video turned out really well. Veo3 does a great job of turning your 3D stills into dynamic video clips. Going up, we've got the third image. Here's the scene. The film opens with the train station bathed in warm and golden light. The young girl steps out of a taxi, scanning the platform. She sees the elderly man. Click on the video and look at what Veil 3 created. Once again, really impressive. You can use the same workflow to generate more scenes and build a complete animated story. Now it's time to merge all our videos into a single animated story format. And for that, we'll use CapCut. Open CapCut and import all your animated video clips into the timeline. Now arrange them according to your script. The first scene, the man steps down from the train. Next, the girl is sitting and pressing her phone, looking sad. Then she looks up and she sees her dad. She looks again and he removes his cap. They finally find each other in the train station. Just make sure the scenes flow logically with your story. Next, let's add audio. If you want to learn how to create AI-generated music, check out my next video. I'll be uploading that soon. After that, it's time to add transitions. You'll notice a transparent white line between clips. That's your transition point. Transitions are key to giving your video a cinematic feel and avoiding scene breaks. Let's play it back. Smooth, right? Always remember to use transitions for a polished final look. Next, apply filters. Filters can dramatically change the feel of your video and make everything look more cinematic. Here's the original look. Now let's apply a filter. See how it brightens and enhances the visuals? Once you finish arranging your video based on the script, it's time to export. Click on export, give your project a name, and save it to your desktop. That's it. You've just created a full animated story using Nano Banana, Veo3, and CapCut. No advanced tools required. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like, leave a comment saying thank you if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe so you don't miss the next tutorial where I'll be showing you how to create an AI-powered product advertisement using Nano Banana.